minutes, two minutes, just two minutes. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Juice Ogu from Judah Parish, Karimo. The people you see with me here, this is my beloved wife, my kids, and my daughter. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the gift He gave us this January, precisely on the 11th of January. We closed from this conference at on the seventh, on the eighth, being Sunday, and I will left for Enugu to see my in-laws because Monday uh, usually used to be sit at home, and then on Monday we saw the people that we wanted to see, and then on Tuesday in the night I woke up and I was made to go outside. As I went outside, I saw a man standing where we parked our vehicles by that 4 a.m. And I greeted the man, he refused to answer me. I greeted him again on the third time, reluctantly he answered me and went into his room. And then in the morning, I didn't take it to be anything. In the morning, I, we left with uh, one of our brother, uh, brother Ikenna, that joined us. I tell you this testimony, second chance, because that fateful day along uh, Obela for Expressway, I didn't know what happened. I wasn't sleeping because I don't eat when I'm traveling. My wife was not sleeping, but her brother Iken and the people at the back, they were sleeping. Before I know what is happening, I saw my vehicle swerve to the left, facing oncoming trailer. And I was on a, at a speed of 120. And the trailer also was in a speed. I tried to come back to my lane, but uh, to no avail. I applied brake to no avail. And the distance was because closer. And now, at a point, I thought that all, in fact, that the thing has happened. But my wife was not sleeping. She was saying, Jesus, this cannot happen. The blood of Jesus cannot happen. I was not talking. I was struggling with the situation. And uh, it's like the Spirit of God entered that trailer man. He now went to my land while I now swam over to his own land. And uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. As God may have it, there was no oncoming vehicle that that I would have dodged. And uh, as I went out of the third road, the vehicle stopped. I came down. In fact, the people that were hearing the cry of my tire on the third road, they came out, was waiting for the final something. So I went around the vehicle, no problem, I entered. And we, uh, as we got to Abuja, I didn't talk to anybody, I just managed to eat something and I went to bed. Around 11, I became restless. I was restless, so I, I woke up, I sat on the floor, and the script was given to me to read, Psalm 34. After reading it, I decided to meditate and I dozed off. And the Lord, because I didn't know what happened, the Lord now revealed to me what happened I didn't know. Praise the Lord. So after the whole uh, revelation, I now knew what happened. That uh, that man I saw outside there, I didn't pray. I just saw him. I took it to be ordinary thing and I slept. And in that revelation, somebody stole my something. I was also restless in that revelation. And the two Bible I was reading before I decided to meditate was on my bed in that revelation. And somebody came that stole my something. And I caught him. And the person began to behave like a Christian. And he began to read my Bible. I now changed my mind. Before you know it, the man now escaped. Please, can you just summarize? So, the 
long and short of the whole thing that the devil planned to close the family oh. except my son that I dropped in the school. All of us would have been dead. Ah. But the Lord miraculously, yeah. I cannot tell how it happened, delivered us. Yeah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! It cannot happen! Hallelujah! When you come face to face with danger, declare it cannot happen! Hallelujah! We give God the glory for the wonderful deliverance. He granted unto our pastor, not only unto our pastor, but unto watchman in Abuja Diocese. Praise the Lord! The next.